Okay, welcome to another Shop Talk. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about this new machine, which is the FD250. Um, now this has got a square mortise chisel fitting as well as the kind of slot cutter. Um, I'll take you through how you change it over and what the different uh, kind of way it, where it works. Basically one's more traditional square mortise um, and one is more, a little bit like a domino to be honest and you can wiggle the back. Really good for repeat work. So let me just jump right in and show you that. Okay, so first up I'm going to show you cutting the round mortises. So this is nice and quick, really clean. It is faster than the domino and the great thing is um, it's so repeatable because you've got the piece clamped. So for repeat work, this is absolutely brilliant. You just steam in and go across. I think here I'm cutting with a 16 or 20 mil cutter. I can't remember which. I think it might be 16. So bigger than the domino, but easily goes through this oak. Okay, so if we're going to do any end cutting, this is actually going to be our rails uh, for our doors. You can raise this little stop, which is really handy. Lock that in, obviously checking that this isn't going to collide. Then you move your end piece, you've got this little brace here to give you your perfect mitre. Put that on. Uh, you can see I've gone onto two clamps because you put in quite a lot of forward pressure, even though, because we're not cutting with a mortise bit, what we're going to do is, uh, instead of kind of drilling, what I've found against the end grain is that the machine is much smoother if you actually cut like you're sawing with the bit. Okay, so we can see the pencil marks here. And we're just going a bit past it on that blade. We want to be in right there. You can see that. So it's very easy to adjust and very quick. On the back, we've got that in position and we just move this stop up to there. That's that done. As so we move it across now to the other position, it's a bit short, so we'll loosen that one off. You can see it there, loosen it off. Bring, it, bring the blade to exactly where you want it. Bring the stop in and lock it. And that's now your two positions. Okay, so a couple of other sort of crucial things to point out, really helpful things. There's this, this handle, which is kind of your mitre really. This will go as your fence that way, or it'll go that way, or crucially, it'll also do a mitre 45. Um, now that works in conjunction with this, which I just showed you, which you raise up and that's a stop. There's two sort of systems going on here. This is the extension and stop from Felder. Uh, it has an extendable rod here which you can remove, you'll see me take it off in a minute. So for the shorter to work. So it comes with this three part rod system. You can swing these stops up, simply left and right on both sides. And then what I have here, I have this, these extension tables which I bought separately, not filled up, um, and I use them on all different sorts of stuff, they're third party. But you don't actually need the extension tables because this clamp will hold it, but it just makes life a bit quicker and easier. Okay, so for those who are asking why not have a vertical uh, mortiser, um, they are definitely cheaper, um, the smaller ones than these, the big industrial machines aren't, and this is really industrial made. Uh, but this is one of the reasons, so not only is it really good for cutting the slots, which you can't do uh, the kind of mega domino style slots, but you can use it to um, chisel out or remove the waste for putting a hinge in. It's really simple, I'll show you here. So just cut that, it took seconds, really neat, and that will go straight in. Obviously you're going to have to fix around the edges with your chisel, but 
um, or your router, but for the main cup, nice deep, dead centered. And when we put the second door on, it centers everything up as there as, as well for the lock to work. So really quick and easy, but I'll just show you more to sit out that door. So it's pretty easy with the round tool on, you just got this Allen wrench, just pull that off. So you might have seen me spraying during that, it's just some dry lubricant. All these cutters are quite expensive and it does get quite hot, especially in the oak. So that's the 18 mil and I'm gonna go up to the Epic 20 mil to do the other side of the lock. So in this, setup my stop is actually from one of the Rui stop sets and it just clips onto this um, extension and then I can push to the, the, this is the top of the door here so I can push the top of the door in so when I come to cut the other side of the lock I push it on that will give me my alignment Next, I'm going to show you the square chisel mortise in. This is an option, so you do need to specify it. Okay, so you remove this cover, and this is for the slotting fitting, slot cutter. And then this is an extra, so you need to order this. So fit this for the square chisel mortiser, just four bolts, and it transforms the front into having the shroud to hold the chisel, and I'll show you that in a minute. I suppose it takes about five minutes to change over. So it's not the quickest, but it isn't that bad. Okay, so it's this kind of shroud which holds the chisel, and that's what's doing the left and right movement, stopping any pressure on the chuck and then the chuck which holds the cutter, in this case, 16 mil cutter. So what we wanna do, we wanna lead with the, the uh, drill bit or the cutter uh, by about two mil in this case. This is a two mil spacer that I've got here. So we're gonna just very simply insert this in, put our spacer in, push it back. Push the cutter all the way back, push the drill bit. Push the, the cutter bit all the way back. Tighten this up. And feel it there. Remove the spacer. Now we can push it back. And that gives the cutter the lead. Gives it like a two mil lead over the hollow chisel. Then what we need to do is very carefully align this left and right so it's nice and square against the cast bed. In this, on this machine, you can really carefully lower it down till you see. You can just see it come down and touch the cast iron bed. So I've just lowered it down until this can't really move anymore, a tiny bit more. That's in, pull it back.
And that is what's holding it. Now we're going to raise it up and we can just check that this is dead square to that to give us the nice square mortises. A couple of other options and things to point out. I've got forward and reverse and I've got two speeds. Now I like to use the slower speed um, on the hollow mortiser and the faster speed on the slot cutter. You supposedly can use both, but I found that the slower speed's better with the mortiser, so you get less kind of heat build up on the cutter. So now we're pretty much ready to start mortising. Okay, when it comes to cutting the mortises, it's pretty much the same as the slot cutter. You've got your up and down movement here, forward and back lock. So I've got mine pretty much spaced out. Um, I'm using the Agna uh, stand extensions. You don't have to. The ones under there, which I showed you earlier, there's the Felder um, stops, but I'm using the Agna extensions and I'm also using a Rui uh, lock clamp there, which I'll show you in a moment. And then basically it's just setting your left and right on these stops. So you've got these two stops and that's your left stop here and your right stop. Obviously there's an offset depending where your cutter head is. Now my, my uh, mortise is virtually touching, so this is pretty much spot on 92 mil plunge. Uh, 16 mil uh, cutter and then you use this lever which is part of the upgrade or the option rather to have a chisel mortiser and then that's gonna this uh, lever here is kind of your movement gives you your movement here and this lever here gives you your power because you need a quite a lot of force to cut a mortise I'll cut one now and show you So it's pretty much that simple. Now I did go back in and then move it along. Benefit of this machine is it can move sideways. Gives you a really clean, really, really clean slot. You don't get the steps. Now there's a couple of ways you could do the cuts. You could go in the bend like I did, and then you could do clean cuts and then break through. Puts a lot more pressure on the bit. You do get a slightly cleaner finish. But as I said, with this machine, because you can slide it along, you can pretty much clean it up really easily afterwards. So this is another good option, just having one uh, extension and the other one using the Felder stop because that means the other extension is out of the way. This is a really quick stop system uh, for repeat work. Um, if you had a lift table, for instance, you could probably put the lift table there. Mine are all busy holding up other stuff, so it's quite handy having these um, extensions. But uh, you'll just see how quick it will go on there. I'm just using a spacer. I'm just happy to have some of this. Um, just to get the bit right by it, this is 20 mil, but um, you can use anything, you don't actually need the profile. So I'm going to slide that onto the stop. As I said, I'm using the space, you don't have to, but um, it just helps with my setup. Stop. Push that on there and then lock that in. 
So the felder stop is adjustable, goes along over there, and then there's an extra silver bar, little one on the back there, which you can extend if you want to slide this thing right out to do a door. And that is what's also great about this machine. Like you could see me doing the locks, you can have a huge table and, and extensions and whatever, do it like that. Okay, so there's quite a few options when it comes to these uh, Agna stands. Rui make a selection of these type of things. I'll put a link to the Rui's website and you can look into um, the bits. These are all from different things that I use from Rui. They're all kind of multifunctional. So if you're using the Agna stand, you're just gonna push that in there, push it up to your workpiece and lock it down. That's it for this week's shop talk. I hope you found that interesting. Definitely a nice bit of kit. Um, it doesn't take up too much space, which is what I like about it and really good for doing the legs and the repeat work, takes the kind of guesswork out of the pencil lines and stuff, which I really like. And that's the main reason I got it. So I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks, bye.